Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do another What's in Your Energy spread for you all. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs and any other major placements in which you may have Virgo in your chart. Very important to remember, this will not resonate with all Virgos out there. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it is not your story, my lovelies, it is simply, simply not your story. Um... Take what resonates and leave the rest for who it was meant to reach. As sometimes I tend to go into a lot of deeper things here on this channel, such as healing, childhood trauma, and generational curses. So I am a big advocate on healing. Y'all know if you're new here. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. Share with your friends. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. Let's see what we got going on, Virgos. Wow. I just heard speak up. Loves, when I was meditating, I heard I heard hell on earth. I don't know what that means. And then I heard the devil on your shoulder and the angel in your ear or the angel on your back. I feel like there's like the veil is very, very flowy right now. There's like something about a flowy veil. Or like an Indian headdress, you know what I mean? Or like a native headdress or I don't know. I don't know. I'm seeing something about like a crown. It could be like the crown chakra is opening or something, but we'll go ahead and get started. Lovelies, I got some new decks. I wanted to surprise myself. <laughs> um, I'm going to, I got this for myself. I'm going to be using delusion tarot lunar design lunart i'm sorry lunart design it's so beautiful i've been wanting this deck for so long and i finally just said i have to get it and then uh for clarifying at the end we're going to use the shaman dream oracle deck okay i just bought them both and um i did want to still continue to show y'all the lovely beautiful bouquet that i was sent by rose forever these roses last for over a year because they are preserved in natural oils so if you want to go ahead and purchase i'm going to leave the link below you use my code virgo empress 25 um i'll put everything in the comments but if you want to go ahead and purchase your own for um, any occasion. Also, my lovelies, I have my oils. Uh, this is my anti-stress, anti-anxiety oil. I have my money spray as well as all my candles in my shop. So it's lunajadebotanica.com. All right, lovelies, this is your energy. This is your surrounding. This is the mutual, most likely outcome or what's to come. Ooh, your surrounding is super duper hot. Yeah, we're going to start with your surrounding today. For some reason, there's something going on around you, Virgo. Virgos, over here in your surrounding energy, you have the three of wands, the five of wands. <gasps> I just heard wait to fight. Just wait to fight. Three of wands, five of wands, the hierophant in reverse, and the empress. I just heard don't let them knock off your crown just yet. Don't let them knock off your crown. Virgos, are y'all, oh, I got the chills, <laughs> Virgo. For some of you, I'm getting strongly, like this is something that you've been, there's something or someone you've been fighting with. Mm-hmm, that's what I'm feeling. There's something or someone that y'all have been fighting with. Your spirit guides, your angels are telling you, be patient, take it easy, take it slow. There's definitely a filthy effing snake. I almost said the real bad word. <laughs> I almost said the F word. There's definitely a real effing snake. And there's someone that's like petrified or terrified of you, Virgo. Someone like despises you because you can ruin them. Ooh. Who is that? Three of Wands. Do y'all appreciate the imagery on these cards as much as I do? They're so pretty. All right, Virgos. Three of Wands talks about waiting. It talks about being patient. It talks about hesitating and taking a step to analyze your next move. Do you see that filthy effing snake there? Damn, oh my gosh, 
I, this is like a creepy energy. I keep hearing just around the corner, just around the corner. There's a snake just around the corner and I'm seeing like a corner house, maybe a corner lot. There's a snake just around the corner. What could that mean, Virgos? Y'all know what this means. Do y'all see that right there? It looks like a snake head with a red eye. Do you remember a couple readings ago, we had, I had a visual of a snake head being chopped off and someone, or a snake tongue being chopped off and someone eating it? I just heard suck your own poison. Suck your own poison. Someone's like, in a lot of karmic debt, lovelies. And I don't feel that it's you. I feel like you're delivering some karma. And remember, Saturn is moving through Aquarius. That means Big Daddy Saturn, the planet that rules karma, that rules restrictions, that rules limitations, that rules longevity. There's some long awaited karma that's being delivered and karmic contracts are being severed. So that poison tongue is what you're chopping off Virgo and you're eating it or you're making someone eat the poisonous tongue or something. Do you see this little figure right here? To me, it looks like a little octopus. Someone look up what the spiritual meaning of an octopus is please, if you please could put it in the comments so I could go back and look at it. Um, there's something about someone who's like an like a bystander but also knows that they can be ruined by this and it might be a whole lot of people I feel like there's a lot of betrayal and deception that has been waiting to be coming that has been waiting to come out there's something about a snail doesn't that look like a snail shell slowly but surely you're gonna get your karmic rewards and someone's gotta pay Pay the piper, pay the piper. Some of you that have native descent or native in your blood or native ancestors, loves, they're getting ready to unleash their rage. They're getting ready to unleash the, the wolves, you know? Because these look like those, I have a staff like this um, that's native and it looks like they're getting ready to slowly come undone because the five of wands is here, loves, and the five of wands is battle. It's war, it's conflict, it's arguments, it's destruction, it's pettiness, it's, com it's competition. Why do I feel like you hold the torch to what's coming next, Virgo? You're holding the torch for something that's coming next. I just heard sweet baby, sweet baby, sweet baby. I'm, damn, I just heard I'm scared. I was about to say I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, I got the chills so bad, loves. I was about to say I'm scared. Someone is scared, Virgo. Or someone who has scarred you is now going to be very scared of you. Five of Wands is battle. It's conflict. It's back and forth. And why do I feel like some of your ancestors are right there along with you holding you up while everyone else is going to crumble? There's something about it not being easy, but it being rewarding or it being worth it. Okay, <clears throat> there's also something about if you're in a relationship or a connection, maybe there's a fight that is coming, like an argument, a disagreement, whatever it may be. An argument you knew was coming is going to finally come. Whatever it is, whether this be a love situation, I don't know if you heard that, but someone's coming down my stairs, like running, like, da, 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 like it's definitely something is coming to arise. With the Hierophant here could be Taurus energy and the Empress here, more Taurus energy, two Taurus energy cards. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Taurus. 
but Taurus, Taurians also have a very, very powerful rage. They don't call them a bull for anything. So this could be something super, super heated, you know? With the Hierophant here, this is a level down. It's destruction. It's a divorce. It's separation. It is someone abusing their power, someone abusing their authority. Um, this could be court. This could be, ooh, someone might lose in court, and it's not going to be you, Virgo. Why do I feel this applies to you in many different situations? I'm getting family. I'm getting the mother or father of your children. I'm getting uh, lovers or exes or something like that. I'm even getting a coworker situation. This is applying, this is why it's it's the five of wands. It's destruct, it's like, it's war. There's a lot of things. Remember, like I said, karmic ties and karmic contracts want their payout. Karmic contracts are ending. If they sold their soul, you know, in a sense, and are not living up to their highest good and their highest power, Saturn's coming to collect. And if you've been good, Saturn's coming to pay. I'm seeing like a casino. Ooh, I have my money spray for those of y'all going to the casino because right now, <laughs> um, right now would probably be the best time. With the high, I'm gonna go, I'm just kidding. <laughs> With the Hierophant, um, in reverse here, this tells me that there could be some sort of separation coming. It doesn't have to be with a lover. It could be with friends. It could be with family. It could be with coworkers. It could be the you're splitting away from a job. It could be you are, for some of you, you're calling out a boss or someone in authority. And for some of you, someone's about to lose a court case and it is not going to be you, Virgo. I just heard, eat that apple, eat the fruit. Someone is very deceptive. Like I'm seeing Snow White. I'm seeing like a depiction of Adam and Eve. Someone eating a poison apple. Someone. All right, loves. I'm seeing someone is the snake in the grass. The evil queen, right? In Snow White. They tricked them to eating the apple. Someone was deceptive to you that you were trusted or wanted to trust at least or had to trust at some point. I'm getting antsy. Do you see my fingers? I'm getting real antsy. Uh, I'm getting like a stomach ache even. Who is this for you, Virgo? Who is this for you? Because you're about to tip off their crown. And that's exactly what I heard somewhere. Where was it that I heard, don't let them take your crown? Whatever is coming, you're about to do something, but with grace. Whether it be a breakup, whether it be you quitting or separating or severance or only y'all know your situations, but why do I feel like someone's going to turn the corner and not expect you to be like, boo, you know, like, aha, I got you, like... I'm seeing Dave Chappelle again. <laughs> There's a bit he has where he says, gotcha. And like, that's what I'm seeing. Like, I'm like staring out because I don't know what it's trying to tell me. I feel like someone is not expecting to pay for what they did, Virgo. And you're going to make them pay somehow, somehow some way. Maybe not in the way that you think. Maybe not in the way they think. But I just heard good for you. I just heard good for you. <clears throat> the Empress. Taurus energy can sometimes be Libra energy. But as a reader, I sometimes see this as Virgo. The Empress is about growth. It's about strength. It's about grace. It's about expansion. And anything and everything the Empress touches turns to gold. Because she is the ruler or he is she or he or they are the ruler of the kingdom. I just heard you thought you broke me. You thought you hurt me. I'm seeing the letter A. I just heard Albert. 
I just heard Albert. I don't know if that resonates with someone, but... And I'm seeing a fish. There could be a Pisces involved. And I'm seeing the bat wing. I'm seeing the bat wing. Like a bat wing, like an actual bat. I just heard, look at all the good you've done. Virgo, some of you are really going to acknowledge your strength in a lot of things that you've been through. Some of you are really going to be empowered, feel empowered. This is going to help move you into your new timeline. And Virgos, just so y'all know, we have a new moon coming up in Pisces. And this new moon is supposed to help us jump into the magical timeline where like miracles are at our picking. It's where we can make things happen. And right now, like I said, those contracts are being severed, which is why we're jumping into that miracle timeline where you are the empress, the emperor, or however you identify, and miracles are going to happen and work in your favor. But right now, damn, I'm seeing like Leonardo DiCaprio in the movie Romeo and Juliet, and I heard, doused the tears of thine enemies and i don't know why i'm talking like that or why i heard it like that someone has an ancestor from way way back that showed up right now or an angel douse the tears of thine enemies i'm feeling like hocus pocus vibes too <laughs> i feel weird all right we're going over here in your energy that's what's coming all right that's what's coming over here in your energy eight of swords in reverse six of cups in reverse queen of cups and four of wands Hallelujah, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what I heard. Hallelujah. <laughs> and I'm seeing Dave Chappelle again. I don't know. I think I'm going to reach out to him because what the heck is this? What's going on? Maybe some of you are comedians. Maybe some of you are like going to be center stage. Maybe some of you have a podcast or they're telling you go after a podcast. I don't know there's something really strange about this and I don't know what it is but the eight of swords here is in reverse eight of swords talks about breaking free upright this is trapped this is restricted this is um, forbidden in a sense I just heard the forbidden fruit the forbidden truth someone fed you a fairy tale or someone fed you a lie Virgo or someone stays eating a plastic fruit. That's what I'm seeing. Someone stays eating like a plastic fruit. There's something about hiding under the covers. Some of you have experienced like abuse or neglect or like a very frightening time, especially in childhood or like a very, like something that made your stomach weak or something. There's something about being scared. There's something about wanting to curl up or cuddle up or cover up. And I'm hearing walk along the totem pole. Walk along the totem pole. I don't know what that means, but... And I'm seeing garlic. What is the spiritual meaning of garlic? When the Eight of Swords is in reverse the way it showed up, my lovelies, this means you are breaking free, breaking out, no longer trapped, no longer stuck, no longer turning a blind eye. You're taking off the blindfolds. You're taking off the blindfolds and quite literally that's what these transits are about. Taking off those rose gold colored glasses and with the six of cups here in reverse, it could be about a bad childhood, a bad upbringing, bad memories, bad relationships, bad connections, times where you felt bad, people that made you feel bad. Upright. <clears throat> six of cups talks about um, childhood it talks about memories it talks about the past it talks about exes it talks about soulmates and when it's in reverse this means the exact opposite this is a bad childhood bad memories bad nostalgia ptsd nightmares um horrible relationships you know whether it be with family whether it be with friends whether it be um with actual lovers 
that is what you are breaking free from, loves, and how many of you have been having flashbacks and things like that or memories arise. That's why. Because you're breaking free from them after taking off that blindfold. And look at that. Queen of Cups. King or Queen of Cups, however you identify. This is someone who loves. This is someone who nurtures. This is someone who... Why do I... I almost said close the door. Go on and close the door is what I'm hearing. And I'm starting to get a headache. I'm going a little deep in this one. Like I'm... I'm seeing like a high chair or something. What the heck does that mean? And I'm seeing a stoplight. Like a stoplight. Only it's not green and it's not red, it's white. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. If y'all can interpret that, let me know in the comments below. But there's something about, oh, there's something about cleansing your energy, clearing your space. The Queen of Cups loves and knows how to love others as well as themselves. They are nurturing, they are kind, they are beautiful. The heart chakra is open. They are sensitive to their pain as well as others. I just heard paint your picture perfect. If y'all have been manifesting, let's manifest what you want to feel about yourself and how you want to feel about yourself, how you want to treat others. Because ultimately, at the end of the day and at the end of our lives, that's all that matters is how we treat treated ourselves and others, right? And that's what that's that's how you'll be remembered. I'm seeing Beyonce. Mm, I don't know. I don't know about that, but I'm. I just heard Yin Yang, and I'm seeing y, y, and I'm seeing A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, or yeah. I don't know. Um, there's something about finding ultimate self-love and love for others and kindness and caring and generosity. You're not worried about what once was bad and what once trapped you in maybe a world that revolved around hate and aggression and sadness and, and feeling frightened. Close and lock that door and let the love rain on you, Virgo. Rain down on you right because with the four of wands here this is celebration this is happiness this is good times good times right underneath the bad times breaking free and finding love love for yourself and love for others and i'm hearing the, i'm seeing the movie the craft which is about magic and witches but I'm seeing that part where she says, I bind you from doing harm to yourself and harm to other people. Someone who did you harm is like gonna go nuts for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know who. I don't know what. Only y'all know. Leave it in the comments if you're comfortable or if this is resonating. But there's something like that keeps driving me back over here. With the Four of Wands. You're about to be very, very happy. And this quite literally is miracles happening for you, Virgo. While everything else might be going up in flames for people who have done you wrong, you're going to leave that war behind. And you're going to celebrate under the moon, under this new moon. This new moon is going to be a game changer for you. And it's almost like with all these transits, technically like the our new year <laughs> starts at this new moon. This is where we're going to see significant changes in our lives. I just heard you're sprouting fresh. You're sprouting fresh. This is the time where you bloom. I didn't even notice that. Doesn't that look like a person? Doesn't that look like a person coming out of those flames? You are quite literally releasing demons. Didn't I say the devil on your shoulder and the angel on your back and in your ear or in your ear. That's what I heard when I was meditating before this re reading. Damn, I got the chills. I almost said reason. That looks like a person. That looks like a person. That looks like a person right there that has already passed on. That is not at peace because they did something bad. 
that looks like a person, that looks like a person, and that looks like someone being condemned to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, six people. Do you have beef with like six people, Virgo? Are there six people who totally tainted you at some point in life? I don't know, but you're going to be happy and they're not. That's all I'm seeing. And over here in the mutual energy, the Knight of Cups and the Temperance. I'm hearing the song, Baby, You're My Ride or Die. Baby, it's a song I found on YouTube and the person who sang it took it off and I haven't been able to find it ever since. Um, Baby, You're My Ride or Die. I've been dying for your love. <gasps> Virgos, do you remember last reading? That was such a beautiful, powerful freaking reading. The one where I talked about um, turning your pain into power. There was a song I kept hearing by Snow Allegra. I'm hearing another song by Snow Allegra, S-N-O-H Allegra, and it's called Dying for Your Love. And she's saying, and I was dying for your love, your love. And I was dying for your love, your love. Yeah. Do you really want me like I want you? There's something about either you guys really finding true love and true happiness with a partner, going after and doing something you absolutely love and adore, and it's not work to you, and it's just you wake up and do what you love. And for some of you, it's it's you finding love. I've been dying for your love. Your inner self has been telling you, I've been dying for your love. And it's time you love yourself back with that Knight of Cups. For some of you, it's all three things. You're going to find your soulmate. You're going to find true love. You're going to find something you like to do that you love to do, and it's not going to feel like work. And you're going to fall in love with yourself all over again, Virgo. Knight of Cups, someone who goes after something and something that they love. There's something about bullhorns, and I've been seeing bullhorns forever, and the temperance. Finding peace, finding happiness, feeling tranquil, and feeling serene. The sun is out, and the sun means happiness. Feathers, I associate feathers with angels, ancestors. There's something about the devil on your back or the devil on your shoulder. Someone may try to make amends. Someone may try to stay on your good side. Someone may try to apologize or something like that. But loves, you see that little creepy thing right there at the bottom? There's still going to be someone clinging on even though you've left them to drown in sorrows. Because you're headed up towards your miracles, loves. Some of you have been envisioning yourself at some point. Do you see that little figurine? It's like you're looking, I don't know if it's a figurine or a figure, but this person is looking at that. Some of you have a vision for yourself and you're headed right there. Virgos, if this message is resonating, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Show me some shaman oracle cards. Shaman dream oracles. And like I said, I have my candles, Luna J Botanica. You want to book a private reading with me, my Etsy, or my website. Um, this is where you can reach me. Let me know what y'all think about still doing that reading to find like your curses and stuff. Or I may go live. I may go live and do like again the $11 mini reads. A lot of you really like that one. So I'm thinking about doing that again. Let me know if you want to do that in the comments. Covenant. Sacred contract. Oh my goodness. I cannot even make this up loves. Those contracts are being severed. And new ones are being written up. You're making up your own soul contract now. Beloved, radical acceptance. I've been dying for your love. Listen to that song or at least listen. Like, Y'all got to listen to it to really understand the feels of that song. But it's beautiful. And I feel like 
radical acceptance. This is a whole new version of you loving yourself, Virgo. A whole new version. Damn, I just heard your money's about to be right. Your money's about to be right. <laughs> Lost in space and needing direction. <gasps> Why do I feel like whoever did you wrong? has just been floating and waiting there until karma. They've been ducking and dodging karma, lost in space and needing direction. Your angels, your guides, Saturn, karma, all that stuff have been spinning the globe looking for the best way to serve karma to these people that have done you dirty or whatever it is, Virgo. Heart home, compassion, some of you, some of you, this hits close to home. And for some of you, you might be like, ah, oh, I don't wish bad on anybody. And that's fine, Virgo. That's fine. You don't have to get your hands dirty, but karma doesn't miss a soul, okay? And for some of you, this is someone close to your home. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And we just talked about that poison apple, right? <gasps> Virgos and underneath the deck. Spirit of the river. Movement towards adventure. Towards your miracles. Five, zero. Five means change. And zero is obviously the start of something brand new. That is what I have for you, my lovelies. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. I'm sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. I love you so very much, and I will talk to you soon.